So we're ready to do the electrical on the truck. So in the hardware kit, what we have is we're going to have our circuit breaker, of course, our controller, our little uh, positive lead that goes to the circuit breaker. We have our harness that goes from the controller back to the spreader, and then we have the harness that goes from the battery uh, to the controller. Now, let's get up in there for safety reasons. Um, let's disconnect the negative cable off the battery and let's get going. So after we took off the negative battery terminal, what you want to do is find a good location for the circuit breaker. Of course, on this application, we found a location really close, uh, safe, but you also want to have a location that our lead or positive lead can get to. So we can put it there and then said we'll run it up through this cover and we'll probably attach it to the positive on the battery right here. After we connect the positive wire, then we'll put the harness in from the circuit breaker through the firewall to the controller. So I'm running the positive from the circuit breaker to the positive terminal on the battery. Just adding another nut on top here, I'm going to snug it up. I'm going to put the cover back on, and then we're going to run the harness through the firewall. So what you want to do is, which is easier, is to feed the wires through the cab into the engine compartment because they're smaller connectors. So we can feed it through there. So this wire I'm feeding right now is the one that's going to go all the way back to the spreader. So I'm just going to pull it out here right now because then I'm going to feed the other wire. Okay, so you see it there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out a little bit more just so I have a little bit more slack. Okay, now I'm going to feed the other wire, other harness through the firewall. And I'm going to take the smaller end that has the positive red wire and the black negative wire so I can feed it through so it's out. It's pretty easy. Okay, you try to do without any uh, shaving of the wires. So it should be coming through right now. Of course, that's going to go to the negative and positive, which we're going to do that later. So make sure we don't cause any sparks or anything. So here this is. So now we have both harnesses run through the firewall. And we're going to connect this later, negative and positive. But right now we're going to take the spreader harness that goes back to the spreader, we're going to take that and we're going to run it down the firewall and run it down the frame of the truck. So we run the harness down along the firewall on the outside of the frame and what we're going to do is we're going to follow the main harness of the truck and what it does, it goes around On the frame, then I said we're just going to follow it, and then we're going to go on the inside of the frame, and we're going to zip tie it all the way down the frame rail till we get to the back of the truck. And of course, a little hint here is do not get close to any heated components, the exhaust, or anything that moves, rotates, drive shafts, anything like that. So keep in mind, stay safe. Now that we got the harness ran back to the spreader, it's all zip tied up. What we want to do is connect the connections 
Uh, what I have here, of course, is some dielectric grease, which should go on every electronic or electrical connection. Just going to feed some in there. Get some more in there. Get some on top of here, like so. So it's pretty simple. Is black to black, white to white connections. Oh, sorry, white to red connections. And then we have our vibrator wire. We're going to connect that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tape these up, make sure out of the way, and get ready for winter. So we've got a few more steps left. Um, the first step, we're going to attach the red wire, which is positive, to the other side of the circuit breaker. And if this nut ever comes, oh, there you go. So I'm going to attach that. And then this circuit breaker takes 11 millimeter socket to tighten up. And I put a little rubber cap on there, protect it. Of course it fell off, but we'll put it back on. Okay. And then the next step is we're going to uh, finally attach the ground to the battery. And then, of course, the black wire coming from our controller, uh, we're going to attach the negative cable on to the terminal. And I'm just going to tighten it up. And then we're going to go uh, inside the cab and c connect those connectors on the controller and give it a little test run in the back, and we should be done. Well, it's controller time now. We're at the final phase of completing the job. So here's our controller. And one thing you want to do is you know, talk to the customer. Uh, where does he want it hooked up? Uh, we're mounted. Uh, in this application, uh, this customer just wants it free so he can tuck it into his uh, area right here so he can control it. A lot of people want it under the dash, you know, bolted up on a bracket. But for this one, it's kind of easy. We just got to tuck it away. Um, again, dielectric grease in each connector. And then we're just going to plug it together. Like I said we're going to just make sure it's tucked up next to a seat where you wanted it. So that's the final connection of the controller. Uh, we're going to power it up. Of course, I need the key on. As you can see, we got power. Vibrator works, and then we can check the spinner, see if that's working right now. The spinner should be spinning right now. So let me get out and give it a check. As you see, the spinner's rotating. It's rotating in the right direction, so it looks like we did a few things right today. You know, thank you for watching this video. One thing also, after your first try with salt, there's some baffles inside that you might want to adjust so you get more flow and less flow possibly. Um, Again, we have slots in the shield to make it throw farther. So there's a few things you might have to adjust after the initial installation. Again, thank you for watching this video. Any questions or anything, anything else or more information you need, go to our webpage at www.buyersproducts.com. And of course, we have all these videos on YouTube. So please go to YouTube, like our page, subscribe. You know, thanks for watching and happy salting.